Hello there, we're on the boat today and it's time to give you a quick tour of what we've done and what we've got to do. Come with me. So here we've got the outside of the boat. I'll try and get a shot from the other side as well because basically we have actually painted almost the entirety of it at least um, to an undercoat level except for this side because this side is currently only done in primer um, we actually did this in we did the primer in December I think it was and and yes we got we got two coats of primer on and then said no that's quite enough now this isn't gonna actually look any different from the last time you saw it but these are our new portholes Putting them in was fun, and getting them not leaking was also fun. But we have finally got it sorted out so that they are fully secure. They're sealed units rather than the openable portholes that we had last time that were very, very nice, but unfortunately were also leaking. And finally we've got to a point where there's no water coming through and we are very, very happy about it. One of the biggest additions that we've actually managed to make in the last few months is this, which is the fantastic window that Emma's dad, Phil, has made for us. It's double glazed, and it's specifically designed to fit on the holes that we originally had. And it's all come out very, very nicely. Unfortunately, there's only one problem, and I will, uh, basically, uh, unfortunately, the yacht varnish has turned out to not be very good. So um, we're actually going to be sanding it all down and adding an epoxy sealant, which will protect it from the weather. And then we'll be revarnishing it. And after that, it'll all look very nice. Here, we introduce you to the other outstanding excitement that we have. The problem with the dog box, which we've been kind of putting off for ages. We do have a plan. We're basically sorting out to get the interior of it glazed and then we'll be lining out the interior of it and that's the point where we'll be painting the outside because essentially we just put some bubble wrap on it and decided to just leave it until life was slightly less complicated. Life is still complicated, but we'll get there in the end. And we're inside. And here we have the chlorifier that we've purchased that's ready to plumb into the main system. Over here, we have many exciting electrical things. And all the way along here, looking even more complicated than when you last saw it, we have all the electrics and the plumbing. The plumbing is now in this nice little, uh, little sealed bit of ducting that we've got. Most of this is birch ply and most of this is actually going to be hidden. Um, for, the, for the bits that aren't hidden, we've actually got some nice bits of oak that we're going to be putting in quite soon. We are almost at the point where we're completely finished with the electrics. There's a small amount still to do, but it's kind of, it's small sort of tidying up stuff, at least on this side of the boat. On the other side of the boat, um, it gets a little bit more complicated, but, um, but yes, we've got the cold water and the hot water all sort of uh, set up in here, and we're getting ready for the point where we can actually start putting the walls up. Are you excited about the idea of putting the walls up? I'm very excited about putting the walls up. I've been waiting to put the walls up for about six months. <laughs> <laughs> There's the stove, which we've actually got into position and it's on the boat. It is currently disassembled because it's going to be quite a while before we're in a position where we can actually uh, do all the exciting cutting of holes in metal. But it's here and it's ready. And here we have the walls. Um, they're sort of stacked in a way that makes it actually a little bit difficult to demonstrate how nice they're looking at the moment. 
but these are the grooved panels that are going to be forming the walls. This section is looking very messy, but this section is going to be completely covered by the frames that we're going to be slotting them into. Yes, yeah, sort of pre prepping this and, and, and getting this to, to, to this state did take a while, but, uh, but we've got it sorted and, uh, and we're looking forward to seeing them in position. It's the end of a long day, but we've got a lot done. Just look at this. Look, we have walls, and not only, not only do we have sort of a nice section of wooden wall here, here we have nice, very, very blue panelled walls, or at least fake panelled walls, which is frankly good enough for us. It's been fun putting them in, and I'm sure putting the rest in is going to be even more fun, but right now, we are very, very happy with how these are looking. Now, Emma, how are you feeling actually having walls? Or at least sort of a quarter, well, half of a quarter of a wall. I'm, I'm pleased with how fast it went up. Okay. Are you looking forward to putting the rest of them up? Yes, I'm not looking forward to all of the sanding and varnishing and painting that still needs to happen. So much, but uh, <laughs> but good so far. Yes. Okay. <laughs>